Hi folks, welcome to the start of a reading vlog. I decided to do a vlog because I have not only the three day weekend, but I also have all next week off because the kids are on, um, not spring break, but it's kind of the first half of our spring break. My school district splits up spring break in a weird way. And so we do one week in February and then one week in March. Um, and instead, a lot of the other school districts around here get two consecutive weeks, but for some reason, the school district that I work for splits it up like that. So, eh, it's fine. I honestly need a break right now, like, really badly. <laughs> it is five o'clock on a Friday, and I am so looking forward to doing nothing this weekend other than hanging out and reading, and it's also raining right now, so it is just literally the perfect reading weather that I could have ever asked for. So I wanted to show you what I will be reading the next week. Um, I'm hoping to actually get through three books. First of all, I'm currently in the middle of Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. You've probably seen this book around. It's getting a lot of buzz right now. Um, now, <laughs> I started this book when I was very busy and quickly realize it is not a book that you can casually read. This is a book that takes your full attention and you can't be half falling asleep while you're reading it like I was. So I may even restart it just to um, just get a, get a better running start from it. But <sighs> to that so far, this is a weird book. It's a very weird book. It's not for everyone. It's maybe not even for me. But we'll, we'll see. I'm hoping that it's going to get better for me. Um, the, first, the first 80 pages was really hard to understand what was going on and just hard to fall into the style and the pace. It's very highly character driven. It's very kind of, I don't know, it's very literary fiction. I know that I don't think Marlon James technically wants it to be labeled as literary fiction, but Honestly, this to me reads like literary fiction set in the fantasy genre. Now, I love literary fiction. I just wasn't expecting that going in. So now I'm just, you know, rewrapping my brain around it. And I've just been super busy with work and it's hard. Sorry, my hand hurts. <laughs> it's just been difficult to give this my full attention because I'm really been reading it with only half a brain. So I have a whole week gonna dedicate my full brain to this. And yeah, moving on from there. I'm also hoping to read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and it shouldn't take me very long, but this is my reread for the month. And then I would hopefully like to flip through Illuminae and get going on this. I don't know if I'll finish it in the week, but it would be nice to start it. So those are my reading plans. Say say hello, cat. Hello. Is that all you have to say for yourself? Wonderful. <laughs> it's Friday night and we have sushi. No, can't. Okay. <laughs> How is it? Big. <laughs> Big. Yep. This is a dinner of champions. Look at all this food. Good morning. We are going on a Saturday adventure. It is finally sunny outside. It's been raining for the past like week month. and month, month really. And we are gonna go on an adventure like it's the year 2000. We're not gonna yelp anything. We're not gonna look anything up on our phones. We're just gonna find places to go and see how it is. We're really throwing it back old school today. So we are going to Oak Glen, which is a place in a mountainous area. And we are also going to eat some food up there and to see where the day takes us. We're it's not going to tell you about it either because it's 2000. 
No, we're gonna tell them about it because she's it, going to it. Because we're vlogging. <laughs> so yeah, we will keep you posted and show you where we end up. So we bought some fudge at Oat Glen that looks amazing. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. And we found some snow, which is a rarity for a Californian. So excuse, excuse us, yes, yeah, Southern Californians, excuse us while we ooh and all over the snow, which is like a rare species to us. but. You gotta go to the mountains in Southern California if you wanna find snow. But yeah, it's I, it's barely any snow, but it's it's cold enough and snowy enough for this Californian. So there's that. Well, we did a thing today, and we ended up deciding to adopt another dog. And we've been thinking about adopting a dog for a while, and we decided to. Oh, I'm chasing her with my camera, but. We decided to drop by the animal shelter and we found Evelyn and she's just exploring the whole house right now, just checking it out. But yeah, she's really, <laughs> she's really sweet and really cute and so far Dusty's doing pretty good. No, no issues right now, but she's just trying to check out her surroundings and having a grand old time. So we're excited to welcome Evelyn into the family. We discovered the couch, we discovered the blankets. I think she's at home forever. <laughs> she's never, never gonna leave. This is her territory now. Hi, huh, Evelyn. You say hi to the camera? No. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, the blanket's so soft. So much fun. Maybe stay away from Dusty right now. I think he wants to be left alone. Look at you in your new house. With your new collar. New pink girly collar. With a pretty bow. <laughs> it's the girliest collar we could find. <laughs> it's okay, Dusty. Don't, don't panic, Dusty. It's okay. We still love you. Don't worry. Well, you probably didn't have enough love to the dog. I know. Look at how cute you are. <laughs> Hi, Evelyn. Dusty's in his natural habitat. Oh, what was that? Good morning. It is Monday, President's Day here in the States, and we're just chilling on the couch with the dogs. Evelyn is doing great. Hi, Evelyn. She's doing good. Dusty is here being jealous of Evelyn being on my lap, so we're just going to all, okay, nope, nope. Let's not get into a fight over this. We're just going to all squeeze on the couch here. Um, I bet you've been wondering <laughs> if there's been any reading in this reading vlog? Well, there has been. Yesterday I made a good chunk of progress in Black Leopard Red Wolf, and I thought I would talk about that a little bit here. So this is a literary fantasy novel. It's a quest journey, and to be honest, the plot isn't really important in this book, is what I'm finding. What is important is the themes and the characters, the character development. Um, there's a few running themes here that are very hard to read, one of them being uh, physical power over other people. So in almost almost every other page there is um, violence, sexual violence, very graphic. This is something that I, I couldn't recommend to most people that I know in real life. I feel like there's a lot of great things happening here. This is a unique story, I've never read anything like it, I've never read an African fantasy story 
and that's so well researched and there's a lot of African history and mythology woven in but man is this a hard book to read this is not not fun to read so far I mean it's starting to get a little better about halfway through it's starting to get less graphic it was very heavy in the beginning I almost wanted to put it down but it's getting better in that regard but it's a strong theme is the way that um, sexual violence and physical violence is held over people in um, a ploy of power over them. So that is, just so you know, trigger warning for just about everything, okay? Everything. Don't pick this book up if you don't think you can handle that. So yeah, just don't. But um, I'm enjoying parts of it. Again, I'm at the point where I'm just like, where is this going? I have to finish it because I need to know where it's going. I don't, even as much as I would like, would have liked to put it down a few times now, I have to, I have to see, I feel like this is one of those books where you have to see the big picture to really understand the point and the purpose. So I'm in the wandering part of reading this and trying to figure out what the big picture is. So yeah, that's where we are there. Today though, i um, not gonna do probably a whole ton of reading until maybe tonight, but we're gonna go, since Julio has the day off too, we're gonna go to the Norton Science Center Museum in Los Angeles. So I don't know if I'm allowed to take pictures or video or anything in there, so uh, we'll see when I get there, but um, hopefully I can bring you along a little bit and show you a few things. But yeah, we're gonna go uh, have a day in LA, which for us is a little bit far. It's about an hour and a half or so, yeah, to get there. So it's gonna be a little bit of, of a trip. Hopefully these guys do okay <laughs> by themselves at home together. That'll be an experiment today, so yeah. Good morning. I just realized I was talking to my camera for like two minutes and I wasn't filming. So we're gonna just restart that. Uh, today is Tuesday, February 19th, and it is my first official day off from work. I have, this is like the first part of my spring break. My school district is just weird. And we do a week off in February and a week off of March and that's our spring break. I don't know why we don't just do two consecutive weeks like most people do, but whatever. Um, today, I need to take Evelyn to the vet. She needs to get her rabies shots and get checked up and just make sure she's healthy and good to go. And then I want to do some cleaning of my house. Uh, I feel like my life is a mess. And <laughs> this is my winter cleaning week. So I'm going to knock out some of that. I just want to organize my life, organize my spaces. And I want to read, obviously, as always. I want to practice my instruments and get caught up on some things. I, I don't know. It's just there's not enough hours in the day, even though I have the whole day off. But I know it's going to it's gonna just slip through my fingers like it always does. But the good thing is, um, I don't know, it's good and bad, but I have the week off, but the rest of the world doesn't. So this is a normal, normal working week for my husband and my friends, and so I don't have distractions in that regard. I can get some of these things done but I also I really had big reading plans too because I wanted to finish this which I'm, I'm dying to finish this because I honestly kind of want to be done with it it's just a hard read it's it's slowing me down it's putting me in a little bit of a slump so I want to finish this and just like power through um I don't know how I'm gonna rate it because I just don't know I'm not enjoying the the experience of reading it, I can see the value in it, and I can see why it's so revered by critics and whatnot. But I'm not personally, is it? I don't know. I don't even know if I want to continue with the trilogy once it comes out. So we're just gonna we're gonna shelf that for now. I think I might take a break from it and start reading *The Land of Wish and the Wardrobe* because I just feel like my heart and my brain needs a break. Um, I just want something lighter and happier and more familiar. 
So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because then I also, I also want to finish... I also want to read Illuminae in the month of February because I have big March reading plans and I've got like five or six books on my TBR for March and I, I, I got to get through everything. I got to read all the things. So <laughs> I try not to kill myself if I don't, but ugh, there's just not enough time, people. Not enough time. So we are going to get our day started. I will stop talking to you. Oh, the museum yesterday was awesome. It was, um, I was wrong. I think I called it the Norton Science Museum. No, it wasn't the Science Museum. <laughs> Norton Simon Museum. It was art and it had, um, everything from Asian and, um, European and a little bit of modern, a little bit of Picasso, some like original Picassos, some original Monet's and Van Gogh. And it was just really a fascinating place. It was very well organized. It was a great museum. So highly recommend if you are ever in LA and you're looking for something to do, the Norton Simon Museum. It was great. Hey, reading update for ya. This is making more sense. <laughs> Finally, about two thirds of the way through, it is making more sense. Now, am I frustrated that it took that long to start making sense? Yes. <laughs> Um, I know it's probably the author's intention to have you kind of wandering around, not knowing what's going on, and I will just have to trust Marlon James on that one, but it is not my personal preference because I feel like if you don't tell the reader why they should care, they're going to put down the book. And I guess, you know, maybe Marlon James didn't really care about that, but I just feel like I didn't know why I should care for most of this book until two thirds of the way through where, you know, at that point, a lot of people would have uh, probably given up by then and probably already have. So that's my beef with this book. <laughs> the pacing, the very, I don't know, slow reveal, slow unfolding. I think the world building in this is excellent because it does very slowly unfold and we build layer upon layer upon layer it's been hard to understand because it's so different and it's like nothing I've ever read before. Not to say that's bad, it's a good thing. It's refreshing in that way to read something set in, in ancient Africa. I, I haven't read anything like that in a fantasy setting. So, you know, <laughs> this is one of those books that it's really hard to pinpoint how you feel about it because it's just a ride. It's just a wild ride. So I'm going to uh, start practicing instead of reading because I read for most of the afternoon here. But we took Evelyn to the vet. She's over here just snoozing away. And so is, so is Dusty over here. But she's for the most part healthy. She's She seems like she has a little bit of a doggy cold. So we're gonna put her on some medication for that for a week. And they wouldn't, they wouldn't let us uh, do the rabies shot because she has a little doggy cold. So we're going to try some medication and then got to bring her back next week, um, which is a pain. I was hoping not to do that, but oh well. And then she has uh, like a weird kind of mole on her underbelly and I they checked that out. I was worried it was cancerous. It's not. It's just like a weird blood vessel mass, but they did say... It would be smart to get it removed, so that's gonna <laughs> it's gonna cost us a pretty penny sometime in the future. But she's okay for right now. It's not urgent or anything. But yeah, whew, man, I'm still I'm I <laughs> I can't stop thinking about this book, and it's it's going by faster now because now I have a reason to read it, and it's also not quite so graphic and not quite as violent in this like last half of the book. The first half of the book was just so hard to get through for so many reasons, but I can now confidently say that now I'm enjoying this read. <laughs> I wasn't before, but now I am, and I'm excited to see how everything wraps up. Good morning. It is Wednesday, and I am just out for a walk, and I just wanted to show you 
how gorgeous it is out here with the mountains in the background. We've got some really stellar mountains around us. And so I'm just enjoying the morning. Normally I actually go to the gym and work out, but um, I just kind of felt like I wanted to be outside today because it's beautiful. So once I get home from this walk, I'm going to um, have a friend over and then um, I've got to do some teaching and some work related things and then um, see what happens with reading. I also need to practice because that didn't happen. So reading today might be a bit of an afterthought, but that's okay because we're going to enjoy our second day off from work. Aw yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, February 21st, and I, <laughs> I'm i still reading this book. I, I had really planned to be done with it by now, but <sighs> it's just taking so long, and I don't even think I'm going to be able to finish it during this vlog, because quite frankly, I'm always torn between throwing it across the room or finishing it as fast as possible. It's so disturbing. <laughs> and I, I just stopped at like a torture scene and I just, I was like, oh, nope, I don't want to read any further because Marlon James spares no detail. I think it's, as far as every time there's like anything like that, it's painstakingly detailed. And then in other ways, like, the plot is not very detailed. And why do we need to be so detailed? <laughs> like, I get it. I get it. I understand that people are being tortured. Like, I get it. I don't need to read every, I don't need to read every detail. <sighs> That's just my opinion. I know maybe, okay, book's falling over. Maybe other people feel differently, but for me, I don't need that. I don't need that to get the picture. Okay, it's just, it's just torturous to read. So I just got stuck, I got stuck. Story of my life with this book. But today is, I'm, I'm winding down towards the last opportunity I'm gonna get to just like have a day to myself. And um, today I think I'm going to go, I need to buy jeans, I need to go shopping because I own two pairs of jeans right now. And friends, that is just not enough. It's not enough pairs of jeans. So I'm going to go see if I can get some jeans. I have a $100 gift card to Ross, which I've never used. And so I might go over there, maybe get some tops for work and maybe a nice sweater or something. And see what the day takes me from there. I'm just going to like have a day for me and <laughs> maybe, maybe read a little more, but maybe not. Also, I'm freaking out a little bit because I have just a really busy next month or so. And this is like the calm before the storm. And of course, in the calm before the storm, I just, I have too much time for my brain to like overthink everything and to start panicking about everything and to start having anxiety over the future and what's coming up next and all the responsibilities I have in the next month. So we're just like... We're just going to take a day and do whatever I want. I'm going to get out of the house because that's another thing I haven't been doing much this week. Um, again, when you have a vacation week and no one else in your life does, it it's hard to leave the house because it's like, okay, well, what am I going to do today? I don't know. I have no purpose today. So today I'm going to get myself out of the house, maybe even go book shopping, even though I'm not supposed to because I have too many books to read. But, you know treat yourself it may be a treat yourself kind of day you guys i just pulled up to the bookstore and it's snowing here in cala mesa california 
which is a rarity and it's really exciting. So I just thought I would share with you. Oh my gosh, it's snowing in Southern California. <laughs> see, you can see the snow is falling. It is, I don't know if it's snow or sludge or sleet or <laughs> hail, but it is, it's definitely snow of some kind. Well, folks, we got some books, and I'm not going to show them all to you yet. You can see what's on the top there, but I'm going to do a book haul video probably and just show pretty much the things that I've accumulated in the winter time because um, I've kind of just been like sporadically buying things, not like regularly, but I did treat myself a little bit today, and also there is a cute puppy bookmark here, and also there's a cute puppy here. And a cute puppy there. So, <laughs> hi Evelyn. Okay, that's very close up to your face. Also, if you were, if you had any doubt that this was a treat yourself day, I got sushi too. And let me tell you, it looks glorious. So I'm gonna sit down, have myself a good sushi lunch. Uh, maybe watch something, which I also never do, guys. I never do this. This is, <laughs> this is not a normal day in my life. <laughs> I don't ever. <laughs> get sushi by myself just because for lunch and I also never watch TV so I can do that too <laughs> exciting day exciting day area is almost garbage free so you're gonna help me figure out how to stay right oh that is a really tough question most great philosophers would say helping you is pointless and you can't try to be good especially when your motivations are so obviously corrupt yeah but what do most great philosophers so we started watching The Good Place, and it is freaking hilarious. I have a new favorite TV show. I've only watched two episodes, but I, I love it. It's it's hilarious, so I'm really intrigued to continue. But um, I also wanted to tell you, I did also set out to buy clothes today. I did that. I did that. I bought some jeans. I got about three pairs. Yeah, three pairs of jeans. Um, I got a couple dresses. I can show you if you care, but... Sure, if, if you happen to care. Oh, I'm gonna not drop you though. But I got this dress. I'm always looking for um, things that I can use for church because my church that I go to is a little more formal. They like to, they like to look nice. So, you know, I try to also do that even though I'd rather go to church in jeans and a t-shirt. Um, I've been looking for a black, nice throw over jacket and I found this nice sweater cardigan thing. Um, that's just boring in black. I'm sure you don't care. But then I also got this dress. I have, I'm actually going to be performing a concerto in a couple weeks. And so I needed something new to wear for a performance. And I found this very elegant, kind of flashy on top, but it's long floor length black dress. So I'm excited about that. I also got this, uh, it's kind of dress. It's basically a dress, or it could be a shirt, but it's cute. It's got um, constellations on it, so I just thought it was super cute, and I like constellations, so there is that. Also, I thought it would be trendy and get a mustard yellow cardigan as well, because, you know, all the millennials are doing it, so you gotta wear mustard yellow. But it is actually a flattering color on enough on me, so... I'm good with it. I'm good. So yeah, that's my small little clothes haul for you. Hello. So I think we're going to go ahead and stop the vlog here. Um, I have like, oh, I think I've been vlogging for a whole week pretty much. And I think I need to start editing it <laughs> so that I can put it up um, on Saturday. And so I just want to wrap up my conclusion thoughts concluding thoughts about Black Leopard Red Wolf. Now, I haven't finished it yet. I have about five or six chapters left until I finish it. But I just wanted to say that as much as this book has been really up and down for me, I can't deny that it's unlike anything else I've ever read before. It has really challenged me as a reader in many ways. Um, 
not to say I don't think it's the most well constructed book ever I do think it's different in the way it's constructed but I don't think it's as effective as it could be however it's definitely really interesting and it's kept me reading it's kept me interested even though it's very difficult to read it's very interesting and so if you're in it for just a different experience and a different kind of adventure that's kind of going to stretch you and challenge you as a reader then I would say go ahead and pick this up um this is not this is not an easy read though so it's something that really takes a lot of your focus a lot of your brain power and a lot of your time I, I couldn't read this book as fast as I wanted to this week but um it's a good it's a good overall experience I think although um just for my personal taste there's some things that were just not enjoyable to read not easy to read but maybe that's the point but I'm gonna go ahead and stop my vlog here before my camera runs out of space base on it because I think it's just about done. Thank you for joining me in this vlog and uh, we got a lot done, you know. We adopted a dog. <laughs> we did some some things. We, we saw a museum. We did a lot of things and we, we read a lot of pages. So still got about 130 pages left of this book but I will be doing a full book review of this book also so you can look out for that. All right. Take care. I'll see you all later. Bye.